In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening to all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I, Brother Zaid Iqbal, I invite all of you to my brothers and sisters. As we received very sad news about the death of our dear Reverend Father Francis Nadim, we the Pakistani brothers here in Sri Lanka, we are having this prayer service at the remembrance of sad death of our dear Reverend Father Francis Nadim. Our hearts are filled with sorrows and sad. We are sad that our precious treasure is lost in Pakistan in the shape of Reverend Father Francis Nadim. We are here having this short prayer service and we are with we, all the brothers, we express our heartfelt condolences to all our brothers and sisters in Pakistan. Dear brothers and sisters, it is very sad to say that Reverend Father Francis Nadim was our precious treasure for us. We are very much sad at the death of him. We are here expressing our condolences along with our dear rector here in Candy House. We remember all of them who are very close to our father, Francis Nadim, and we express our condolences and we assure you that we are continuing praying for him, that God bless him and grant him eternal rest. Amen.
had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary sat in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that Whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me Though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, for us Christians, believers, Life, death is not an end. We are here on this earth for a short period. Some of us will go earlier, some of us will follow later on. Then what is death? Death or fullness of life is in heaven. In here on earth, our life, the fullness of life, we will never experience fully, partially at times. But to experience the fullness of life in heaven, the only passage is death. Death is like a bridge. To go to heaven, we have to go on the bridge. And a good bridge, huh? We have to prepare each one. Suppose if you are very heavy, make a little stronger bridge, yeah? some concrete bridge. All of us should walk on that bridge. So therefore, as we enter heaven, there we experience fullness of life. We had experience of sailing in ship. When our some beloved people sail in the ship, we come near the harbor and we see them going and we say, Oh, the ship is moving, it's going, going, it is going, still it has become small now, it is going, it is going and it is gone. And all the people on the harbor will say, the ship is gone. The other side of the shore, people in heaven, they are lengthening their necks. Their necks. Oh, there, there he comes. There he comes. Father Francis Nadi comes there. That is their job. And our sadness decide, yes, Father Francis Nadim is gone, 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 gone from our eyes. There is coming, 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 yeah! He's coming, he came. Yes. But we have not only just little this thought, but we have 
the Bible tells us about death. Jesus tells, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. And the fullness of life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever believes in me, though he die, he shall live forever. We are Christians, we believe, we are Catholics, we believe in Jesus' words. And also he says, he who eats my body and drinks my blood will never die. And our good father Francis Nadim has received his body and taken his blood and he will not die. But perhaps you would like to know something about Father Francis Nadim. I also do not know much. I asked one of the brothers, tell me some few points. His life. Then he told and we corrected and formulated few things. Yes, today we recall Father Francis Nadim and pray for him. He was born in a renowned city of Pakistan that is Gujranwala on 27th October 1955. He did his philosophical and theological studies in Philippines and ordained priest on 14th September 1983 and died on 3rd July today 2020 if we have a short look at his whole life as a priest it was the celebration of the Paschal mystery and administration of the sacraments he lived his entire life meaningfully and joyfully for Christ. He rendered his services in different parishes as a parish priest in Pakistan mainly. He was a very famous preacher and he was often invited to preach when there is a feast, especially of Mother Mary's feast. Thrice he was elected as a custos of Maria Sadika Kasri, Pakistan. And do you know he was uh, he was holding a national title. A capuchin is having a national title. The title is something like that. I may make mistake and correct me. Tadma e Imtiaz. That the title was given to him. No doubt he was born as a leader and for many years he was a leading figure of interfaith dialogue in Pakistan. Though he is no more today, but his memories will never be erased from the hearts of the people, very especially from the hearts of the Capuchin friars and the students here. He was one who started the mission of sending Pakistani students to Sri Lanka. Under the guidance of Indian friars from Karnataka province. Today, there are many students who study in Sri Lanka and were ordained priests. Therefore, we too who are doing our studies here, who our students are sitting here beginning with the Atta and the last, the two nearmost is Ashi. With all of them, and I also thank him in his absence and pray for him. He is no more in this world. Though he is no more, but his good memories will remain in us as a, as the saying goes, 
love never dies as the book of wisdom says the soul of the faithful never dies and we do believe in that he is not dead rather he has completed his earthly journey and entered the bridge is walking on the bridge gone on the other side ship has gone gone and gone and we do believe in that he is not dead rather he has completed the earthly journey today we are assembled here as a zarik told at the beginning for a short prayer service for father francis nadi we pray that he may enjoy eternal reward he has fought the fight he has run the race now he is waiting for his crown great our prayer is if there is any stain of sin left in it which is not absolved compassionate lord cleanse him receive him in the company of the saints and we also send our deep heartfelt sympathies and condolences to all the friars in pakistan and also to the relatives and friends of father francis nadi and may the lord accept him let us all say together eternal rest grant unto him o lord and let the better light shine upon him and may the soul rest in peace amen
dearly father Francis Nadine. We have few brothers who would like to express themselves, who had experience to be the father and want to express themselves in a few words. So I kindly invite them, please come and express yourself. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, I am Brother Akhtar Rafiq from 4th Year Theology. I would like to share my experience being with Reverend Father Francis Nadim. I was about to start my first year theology when he was being elected as a Kustas of Maryam Siddiqa Kasdi, Pakistan. During that time I was there and I was privileged to serve during the chapter. And I observed that Reverend Father Francis Nadim, he was a man of principle and man of system. And these virtues I also adopted in my life that I would be also a man of principle and arrange the thing in a systematic way. It was my unique experience when I had. And after that, I had a nice experience when I was about to commit my life totally to the Lord, being a perpetual brother. At this juncture, I would like to pray that may God grant him eternal rest. Amen. I am Brother Amir Bashir, the student of Second Year Philosophy, Kandy, Sri Lanka. My dear brothers and sisters, People are interested by talents, but God is impressed by character. If you want to see the real character of the person, give him the bigger responsibility. This is my own experience, though Reverend Father Francis Nadim was on a high post. The Custos of Maryam Sadika custody, but at the same time he was very humble. I saw the spirit of humility in him which touched me a lot. I can conclude his whole life in one word that is humility. I pray that the compassionate Lord cleanse all the sustains of his sins if they are remaining and grant him eternal rest. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I am Brother Ishaq Niyaz from Second Year of Philosophy. I would like to share my very sincere sympathy with my fathers in Pakistan and the Church world at large. Because Father Francis Nadim, our Kustus, he was really a great man. How I knew him when I was only in second year, I came to know about him from a well-known professor of Punjab University when he told me that one of your priests, Father Nadim, he has rewarded with a very beautiful and a great medal from the government of Pakistan, a national award, a award of excellency. This is known as Tamgai Imtiyaz. Because he explained to me that this is mostly given to the people, those who have really served at large level. A very sincere service to the people, those who have given. So I came to know about him that time, when I knew about him more and more. I, we all were just like in third year, just like a small plant behind a huge and fruitful tree. Because we were getting inspiration from our dear Kustus. He was very firm in his decisions. He was a man of principle. His life itself example for everybody. Many of the time, we brothers were invited from for interfaith dialogues and there 
we were shocked and really it was great inspiration that being in Pakistan, a Pakistani capuchin father was having a good status among the political, religion and all the civil personalities. My dear brothers and sisters, today it is very sad to share that we have lost the proud of Pakistan. But at the same time, we are very hopeful the plants Father has planted in the coming days, they are coming up with much more fruits and abilities which Father was having at the same time. So today, we share our very sincere sympathy to everybody and we pray for Father's soul that his soul may rest in the peace of Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I am Brother Irfan Yusuf from Pakistan. I am doing my second year philosophical study in Sri Lanka. So today my heart is full of sorrow because we lost a unique personality. In short word, I will say that we lost a mediator between two big nations in Pakistan. Muslim and Christianity. According to me, we lost and other friendships. My dear brothers and sisters, I am Brother Asher Azim, doing my philo philosophical studies in Sri Lanka. Today, my heart is full of sorrow and sadness because we have lost another Francis from our custody. I did not spend much time with him, but before coming to Sri Lanka, we spent few days with him. I found him a sincere priest who was doing his responsibility very faithfully. Here I would like to share that in Pakistan it is very difficult to serve among the Muslims but Father Francis is the one who built a strong relationship between Christians, Muslims and other religions. In Pakistan when our Lenten season comes the Muslim mullahs come for the service and for the fast and when their Ramzan comes, our fathers go for their Aftari. And today I show my condolences and sympathy to all the friends, family and all the well-wishers of Reverend Father Francis and we assure our prayers for the death of Father Francis. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I am Sushil Gill, student of second year philosophy. My dear brothers and sisters, today we had a sad news of our coastal Reverend Father Francis Nadim who is not more with us. I personally had experience with him. I was in ninth class and I participated in the speed competition. It was in the Kent parish and Father Francis Nadim, being a parish priest of my parish, he encouraged me, gave me inspiration to come forward, take part in different activities and it was speed competition and I remembered I was given a certificate by him. After that I see there are so many talents and abilities which I see in Father Francis Nadim, our coasters. As our other brothers they have mentioned that he was a man of principles. Really it is, it is indeed. He was the man of principles. He was the great inspiration, he was the encouragement person for the custody and for all the people of Pakistan, especially for all the religions. 
not just for Christians, but he was the bridge between Christians and Muslims. And today, as we are gathered here to share our heartfelt sorrow on his death, we pray for his soul that he may have eternal bliss in heaven and may be granted the bliss of saints. Thank you. My dear brothers and sisters, here we all have expressed ourselves at the death of Reverend Father Francis the Dean. Here we end our prayer service and once again we assure our prayers and heartfelt condolences to all the well-wishers and friends of Father Francis the Dean and Church at large in Pakistan. God bless you all.